welcome back for my second lecture for free camp as a project management tool um, and in this class we look into administrators per perspective okay this, um, this will be more into administrator perspective and see how we can do this um, so for that we need to create a project and stuff um, so you know we will we, actually go through it once you log in so we have this understanding of this four uh, four different uh, options right you have this project your task board your, we went through this we didn't go in detail of course um, let's see if I have time or you know if I can do it um, in, in three to three days something um, we can go through in detail but for now we'll just go through this through administrator perspective um, so you can go here and see my account uh, once you have seen this you can you know have this this is an administrator okay so if you're logging it as a um, user you won't see all this okay so you can put your um, you know uh, your picture here and you can update your email ID, okay? Uh, password, I don't remember my password, so not update. Um, so here, name, you can update your name. Password, you can update your password. And default home page. Uh, okay, so which home page do you want? So do you remember we had these four things, right? Project, task board, calendar board, widget board, or notification. So this looks good, home page is good language of course okay you have this lot of language here um you have this french german russian etc okay lot of language got added here so um you know here you can auto detect so you can update that too uh, but as the greek have you german uh, i don't know this so uh, I'll stick to uh, English, so this auto detect. Time format is 12 hours, 24 hours you can put, that will be 13, 14, 15, so this is time format. So, we're so I have not updated this, you can update this too. So this is about personal information actually, um, but okay, so th this is, you know, you, this is how you could create new project group, see here. This is from right into my account process, and um, let's go to the notifications pretty quick. So, if you want any notification, let's say new task has been added, so you want to get this phone number, you go ahead and click on this. You have this ATM. Oh wow, I didn't knew there's so many carriers here. AT&T, we know AT&T. Uh, Sprint, uh, T-Mobile, I know T-Mobile, okay, if you are living in Australia, then Telestra, US Seller, US Seller is in US, Videotron, Virgin Mobile, uh, that's interesting, there are a lot of things, if you are living in UK, T-Star, I think, um, that's good, um, so you have this lot of options, if you have this, uh, if you want SMS, right i'm not sure if if this thing is oh you can email to them and see the if uh, you know if it's listed but um still i can put it the phone number it doesn't matter i don't think carrier matters uh, whatever carrier you are using verizon at and doesn't matter right um and then you have this option okay so this is this is the admin option actually so what level of um, notification you want or if somebody changes a project name somebody changes something you know what level of notification you want to get you want to get sms or you want um, no information or default default means you know you see only if you are involved in okay none means you will not notify anything whatever happens they delete the project you don't get notified um, minimal well, the only thing which is currently assigned to you and full means if it anything which is thing you will get 
SMS or you know something. And this is something which uh, this is for you know um, for people like CDO, Chief Technology Officer, or CIO, Chief Information Officer. Uh, something people kind of those guys require this. They they want update for every small second. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, probably not because if it's a uh, if it's a big project and they don't want all this information, um, but they will be more into judgmental than you know than to get this uh, notification. But if it's a small company, small, they might want all this information. They they get uh, SMS uh, every time you know this um, this project got changed. And that guy is calls back or SMS you know why this project got changed and all those things. So this is a notification thing which is pretty good actually for uh, for a project management too. And this is to be honest, this is all they are doing for free. I don't you know I I, I have to be honest, I don't know how long it will be free, but this is from a long time from 2016 I'm using. This is 2019 and it's still free so i hope it should be free in future too so but uh, we are not sure I, i'm not sure uh, i mean they might um uh, change any time uh, you know and digest email um uh, yeah this is this is very i don't want it so i'll just update it um too much of emails i don't want it a recap email you can use it daily I mean who wants that you know, every day email or every hour email is painful unless you know you are a CEO and you want these things to be done and you want each and every information but at one point of time you won't even bother about this you want, don't, don't want any information so these are the notifications actually uh, next subscriptions of course um, if we are in free plans so business plan you uh, know so 10 NB file limit um, and um, you know you can uh, um, uh, 10 MB in a sense you can uh, yeah normally you don't get 10 MB is quite a big thing if you are using test plan document the strategy or document Let's say I have this test plan document, which is uh, uh, how many MB is this? This is KB. And yeah, it's normally one or two. Probably will be having this five MB, six MB, nine MB, ten MB is really good. Um, but as a free plan, this is great. And this is um, and thing is, you have unlimited projects and storage kit. I mean, this could not be better than this. Um, and uh, they have improved a lot. They have added a new features. These many features, these admin features, were not even there when I was using in 2016. So you have a lot of things here right now. So Teams, uh, you know, uh, did I add some team here? So somebody added me, but. Um, Somebody added themselves actually, I guess, or I added to them probably, but I cannot add here. If I want to own, I have to upgrade it, but somehow it went to. They have created their own team. So this is uh, the team if you want uh, new teams, but you can add new teams to the project. This is a team in the administrator. This is the administrator, remember? Um, this is not in the project. So. Um, since I am a super administrator, for this I am I'm viewing at this as a administra super administrator. That means I can remove anyone, I can do delete a project, I can do whatever I want. Um, so, but, but that's you know that's how uh, you know I'm looking through it. So, um, so actually, probably you know. Okay, we'll go to that one a little later. Then you have this one click login. Oh, good, that's good. I connected to Google. You can do that too. Once you've done that, you can connect to Google, connect to LinkedIn, so that what happens is if you forget your uh, e password, sometimes you forget your password, right? You can 
use this Google login and it login or LinkedIn login or Facebook login and login through that. That is a good option. One click login option is really good. Um, this is useful when you forget your password. That um, happens, right? Uh, you forget about password. And, um, so that's a good thing. But that is admit point of view. So we we'll are so. Right now we have okay. So this is a, a link. If you want this link, let's say you want this link, and uh, uh, this link got generated, and I can view that link here. I guess. So oh, I think. Um, Okay, so I don't think we have this option for link. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah. Okay, so once you get that link, link got generated, and if you want the planet, so this is the link. And once you get it, you get. Oh, this is kind of then exported into this. Actually, it gets exported. And let's see what for what is there in this. Actually, I have never used this before. So, um, but uh, we we'll delete for now. Oops. I guess I have deleted that. Okay. So this is th this is my you know um, Excel. One, don't worry about it. So this is okay. So this is the one which is information about the project. Okay, that's good. So um, so oh, can I do just do delete anything? I got deleted something. But I hope this didn't delete the project. But but we'll see that if project gets deleted, we will know that's. Uh, not good. Um, so, I'm go to this calendars, and if you have any calendars, you can have this calendar. And then there is an API, application program interface. Uh, you can use this. I will not go in detail here. Um, you can use this password to view it. You want the password or generate a new. You can generate a new application program interface so this is your password okay this is keys this is for key to protect your account okay um, so we we'll delete this we don't require at this point of time and tags tags are to tag it whenever your project is um, you know, uh, uh, tags are very good. You know, let's say you are looking for something, you're googling it, something, right? Uh, found this tag so that you can choose that thing. You know, sometimes you found it to Google, right? So that's how this it, because it it, it 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 becomes available in the search engine once you tag it. It, it sometimes it becomes it available in search engine and search engine through search engine you get this thing. Once your project is open group project, then the it's like everyone can have access to that so um, so that's uh, that's something which uh, you know you, you cannot you know I don't have anything I cannot delete anything it's good so this is this was about my account this is my account going let's go to manage system okay so this Okay, we 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 could actually go through this. Manage systems is actually um, the thing which is actually we go through this home project and see here. So there is an add-on. So this is for if you want external add-ons like project temple templates or custom fields. Of course, sometimes you want a custom field CRM. Of course, CRM. Oh, we'll go to free add-ons. That's good. Free add-ons are good. Uh, you can have this lot of things, passwords, tasks, calendar. Calendar is already there, so we don't 
I don't think quite files that's good you want this one and if you want to suggest you have new uh, add on to suggest you can do that too right these are the paid ones these are the paid ones premium ones uh, so this is about the add on and of course if you want tutorial there's a lot of tutorial here uh, I hope uh, get uh, you can view this tutorial if you have any questions um, there's a lot of things I hope this PDF oh they are going to YouTube we don't want it so if there's any PDF I'll look into this and see if any um, user guide or anything is there so I'll put it as a handout um, ok so there's a lot of information how to do this and you know how to manage this if you don't understand it you you know you can view this through here you know um, so this is you know although I'll be explaining you on this one so um, you can you know, do a lot of things or you can request a feature that you think it should be good and if you think something went wrong you can assign bugs this directly gets to this free camp uh, customer service uh, we don't require all this so this is pretty much about admin point of view this is not um, no this is not just admin point of view but this is a little bit um, this activity actually my account how does that, uh, do you want to maintain the account so you, you do all this so actually admin can add a new project group not a group member if you are in, in a project member you cannot add a new uh, you have to be an admin okay so this is also an admin group let's do this um here let's start with adding a group L let's add a group uh, guess what um okay oh uh, yeah this is administrator work of course um, group name I uh, put as Udemy um, group description I uh, put as Udemy training oops on GMO online project so as I told you that uh, we have this um, oh sorry that's my website okay um, we, we are working on this um, GMO online okay this is a web application uh, where we are trying to design so you know we are working on GMO online project and who do you want to be as an administrator see there's a lot of people here but that I actually added long back all right um, so you want them to be administrator uh, I'm a super administrator so I can assign them as an administrator I can remove them as an administrator so I can do a lot of things here okay so um, oh I'm still here okay so he has a lot of people here so I don't think I'll be adding anyone I'll be doing this for now but um, but thing is uh, the project group has been added successfully but the point is you know if you want to be added in this group please let me know send an email um, to um, you, know, you can send to the Udemy account to Udemy and send a message I hope I'll get a message or you can send me an email at manu at 630 at gmail.com manu630 at gmail.com um, don't use this email ID uh, this not sure how long it will be um, don't use this one probably I'll update this to uh, to a, a different email ID so um, so you know you can send me an email if you want to be added in that group and see you know you want to be a member of this group okay so this was pretty much about admin point of view we'll actually go through this <coughs> actually guess what uh, the our new project didn't show up Let, let's see here I'll go to the home and see here um, and uh, oh, this doesn't show up here I have to go in dashboard so 
so a group got added but uh, it's it's not showing up here so let's go to manage system the thing is oh here you go so what I'll do uh, right now um, this is how this uh, you know admin thing works actually we didn't this is part of the admin process actually so the you know group got added called Udemy but uh, as you can see there's no uh, you, you, you were not able to see here but once you get here uh, they have this old system also um, better don't use the old system because they might you know update it so this is the group I have this three groups is it remember um, let's uh, I'll show you here actually what um, you know what I go to this home if you see dashboard you have this Janus project IT America these are the groups technically this is supposed to be a group and these are the projects Project one, project two, project three, project four, project five, so on. Um, Manu's project this was got added first when I signed up. So, okay. Um, but I just created a group Udemy that is not showing up here, right? How interesting. Uh, but uh, we'll, no, even if it's normal view, I still don't see the how we can do that. All right. So we'll go through manage system and see here. Now here I see this as I can see here group. That's good. Um, now project group is here. You can see this option. You Demi project name. Um, what I'll put is GMO online. Oops, sorry. Guess what? Green Mountain Outpost. I put Green Mountain Outpost. Too much of GMO. Um. Okay. Yeah, project description. If you know the project description, um, <coughs> oh, you have the option. Oops. Let's. Uh, let me actually we can check tips okay I did something wrong I click this on this and it really you can actually create a group here but I screwed up to be honest so a uh, green mountain outpost I mean this is also new for me actually uh, the reason because uh, they have added a new Oh, somebody's calling me. So, okay, they have added new uh, features and new things which I don't know. Um, so, project description. So, in the project description, uh, we will test each and every functionality of a project. You know. So, so what I'll do here is, let's say this product owner want to test um, application web application. GMO online in chart Green Mountain Outpost. Um, so you know there will be more information that this this is uh, less, but uh, there will be more information uh, on this one. But we will just keep it short uh, for now, so that you will have some idea. So here um, you can choose the color. Oh, it looks good. So you can choose any color here. I like blue. Probably I'll go for blue, navy blue. This should be good. It's, it's not navy blue. But okay, good. Um, and you can in invite global teams. Let's see what's a global team. Ah, okay, great. So we don't have this global team and click on save good this got saved okay and now we will, what we'll do here is we have this app 
we can put have this these are the off positions these are an off okay and uh, project mem members this is on time I'll put it is on milestone um, probably you can put it on or no so this is like everybody should know or no this is kind of things like you know they should know or not so that's how it is files yes everyone has should have access to file and issue tracker I think this is a paid version but we can use this without an issue tracker and we we'll see this how does it work uh, it's a paid version I guess yeah no we don't want it uh, no all these are paid version but we can use this without using this I'll show you how okay so we'll go through that um, here you can edit it you can delete this project and you can archive it view this add, and then we add or invite users uh, let's invite users choose from existing one so there are many people here so what I will do here is you know why don't I invite myself there is one more yeah I'll invite this so, and I add this into my project and now okay yeah this is my 630 it just makes sense okay um, here as an administrator I'm inviting this user and uh, I get an email confirmation that I've got you know invited to this project okay and uh, what this what do you want this user to be this will guest observer organization organizer team player it's up to you how do you so if you if you are as the administrator right because this this class is only for meant for administration um thing so <coughs> when i invite this you want is a contributor as contributor has most of the access guest has only view access i guess least minimal access you cannot add files you cannot edit anything forget about editing projects you don't even have viewing some of this you cannot even view observer i think you have all the access for viewing perspective organizer uh, this is semi administrator where you can you know have this create this projects but you cannot add users and all those things only administrator can add this users team player uh, this is kind of scrum master of it so I'll add it as a contributor contributor means has most of the access you know add files delete files add test cases task and all those things and um, and go ahead and click on invite users okay so I guess I'll get an email so I, I will get an email just because it's me um, so one guy is there here so this is me and uh, that is contributor actually I can create my own team uh, he should be pro user admin guest read only the level and what kind of all the applications are how do I can you know create my own team so I will have this option uh, here is the team user, team, I'm sorry, team player, organizer, admin, observer, contributor, user, of course. Contributor is user who can use this. So, I don't want at this time. So, this is good. I can edit this too. Um, you know, uh, but we don't, we don't want that. Uh, but it's good to know that you can create your own team. Um, you want this as an administrator, super administrator, give access to everything or give access for nothing. Um, you want this user read only, read only is good. This is permission level we want to give. So we don't want this at this point of time, just an idea. Um, so this gives an pretty much um, idea of that uh, project, group project. Okay that is Udemy Green Mountain Post Outpost all right great let's go to group apps let's see what's there on that um wall of course we don't this wall 
Yeah, that's what I thought. The CRM, you cannot use CRM. Uh, this is. Uh, <coughs> I don't think I'll be giving. Um, if even if I give a class on CRM, um, that will be only an introduction because CRM is pretty big. You know, like some, I have to refer a lot of things. And this CRM is pretty big. So even if I give this, it will be in just introduction point of view. So. Um, so this is an option. So available group option. A wall. Let's see what is this wall. No, we don't want this. Uh, this is not a Facebook <laughs> to add this wall. Post something on the wall. This is not good. Uh, password. No. Um, you know uh, because uh, this password is given by administrator, so you cannot have this password and see if you how many members are there. Okay, so owner group owner that's me and group member um, that's me again and uh, whoever had added it uh, if you want to add in this group let me know send me an email to this email um, 630 is right it's same uh, not to this um, probably I'll be changing this email but uh, send an email to this and I will add you probably uh, yeah, I'll be adding you in this one. Okay, so that's a pretty much on this administrator point of view, but that doesn't end here. Um, yeah, I can do all this here. Um, you know, you can add a project, edit group, group administrators. If you want to see who is the group administrator, I can add group administrators. This one but I don't want to um, you know um, I'll be I can add users you can use this administrator is something who wants to regular work who will be doing this but all right um, so and archive project you want to archive delete group and we don't want to do that here at this point of time and then group info you want to see here who is this and free plan of course we are in the free plan and this is about global teams you know, if you have this global team you can create this global team this is something which is um, um, you know this is open open to everyone whole world so I think that's what I was global modules um, you cannot use any of this because um, this will have uh, you know paid version these are the paid versions so we don't require this one so we'll go back to home see what happening now uh, I'm sorry we we'll go to dashboard and here you go now you see this uh, before we didn't see this remember now this this is a group right this is IT America, Janus project, Manus project, and Udemy. These are the groups. Recent, I don't, I don't want this recent project. The recent is this one, not this. Can I move this up? I don't think it's possible. Okay. All right. So now, in this, I, I just created a group that means I can create n number of groups one group one group two that means group is like as I told you like sprint in agile since this is a project management tool so you have a lot of things in project sprint let's take an example of sprint so I hope you know what is sprint right sprint is an iterative and incremental process um, let me give you some some idea on that um, Actually, I don't actually have to refer. You have to know this agile methodology before using that tool, but doesn't matter. Um, we will just uh, don't worry about it. Um, so, sprint is something like uh, you know you have sprint is like thirty days timeline. It's a time box unit. Okay, sprint is actually time. Um, you know, as I told you, it's it's an iterative process. That means it's every month a new sprint it comes up, and you know, it can be one week to one month, and so uh, it's kind of 
uh, that so is something you can add as a project every you know or you can add as a it depends on project depends on company depends on the way you work uh, depends on also not agile sometimes you can create your own methodology you can invent your own methodology doesn't matter so okay so so as you can see in all these projects i am the administrator group administrator as well as super administrator i am the super administrator as well as group administrator so all this project i am the administrator and these are the users so that's how my face shows the first one uh, it doesn't matter with the face but uh, because i change the picture if you change the picture your face also so so uh, it's not a big deal all right so that's uh, pretty much about this administration part okay um so it still shows me i don't know what's happening okay um so w i can click on this that means i i can so this is a group okay and this is a project let's click on this yeah so green mountain outpost is actually a project okay so um so when I click on this, it just went into this. So what we do? So we have to know a lot of options here. You see here, there's a lot of things here. So I will be covering this into the next class because um, this will be in detail. Um, here we can add tasks for that particular project. So now we are in this project. Okay. So. Um, okay, we'll go back to home. If you don't know anything, just go back to home. So, so you don't know which project here, but you can see here which projects we have created. So, if you don't know anything, some you know, if you miss something, go back to home. That's what I do. Go back to home so that at the dashboard shows up, so I can choose whatever I want. I can choose projects from here, or this the it's the previous thing, um, or I can see this widget. It is widget is here. I can change this widget right from here to here uh, or here. Uh, oh, I can go beyond this. Uh, okay, let me this is this is good. Um, so this is how you know you can change it here, and uh, you know you can have this option here. Um. So I'll just go. So actually, we have project. What's the project name? Green Mountain po Outpost. That's the project. Okay, Green Mountain Outpost is the project. Now, in that project, we'll be adding this task. Various task. We'll be adding that. So we'll do that in the next class. It's probably, you know. So this was more from the administrative point of view. Um, adding task is something which is a contributor can also be you know just don't have to be administrator since i'm using as a super administrator um but still you know you can see this blue color remember we use this blue color navy blue it's not exactly navy blue but no um, that's how we can once i click on this so it will go into this an option and we will um, not do this in the next class okay so we'll go ahead and go to each module uh, this remember we did on and off thing okay um and i can you know dra pull back here and s uh, this goes to here and i can you know drag it here and we will create multiple tasks um, this task is, um, you know, task. So let, you know, I'll be using as a testing perspective. Okay, you don't have to be testing. You could be a scrum master, a project manager, a product owner, a business analyst, or a manager, or your boss. You can do a lot more things than that. I can use this as a Kanban process. I like more as a Kanban process. Uh, but I'll show you one example 
of creating this and uh, you know we can view this as we have seen this right we have already seen this we are seeing the second time so um list is good so you know we go to this list side so this is what it is utemi is actually the group it's kind of sprint sprint one sprint two but this is one sprint let's say utemi was one sprint okay um one sprint and in that pro, uh, sprint added a this group added a project i can add one more project let's do this let's let's add one more project for our understanding uh, i will also be under uh, i can also understand that you also will be now i don't know anything what to do now right this is pretty messed up i'm stuck here i want to go back i'll go home i just click on this home now what i'll do here is go to the manage system go here and remember we have this project uh, now we'll go here click edit group oh no you don't have to click on add project you can add n number of project like this um since we already have done completed green mountain post there are any other application i have this one more application uh let's say i want to use amazon this is a name mm -hmm. you know for our understanding uh, and i'll put uh, testing feature testing oops sorry features and functionality testing on amazon.com right and uh, i can choose the color the same thing uh this time so green color so green color looks good oh that's too dark too light um wait a minute why is this thing is changing okay all right this looks good and the save if you know hexadecimal you can put that hexadecimal there so that should be good and go ahead and click on Say this is how oh, and also here again the admin point of view you, you want to put this on and off on and uh, these are not just an in okay you can edit this and go ahead and group apps uh, in the members invite this member member is already there because this member was added in the project so is already there is member you can remove this guy okay remove this this is the i added as a global uh that's the reason it is, it is showing up global guy right so that's the reason it's showing up but um let's uh, okay let's find out okay now let's go to again uh get out of this thing and I'll go back to home if you see here now there are two projects in one group that is green mountain post and amazon right can i drag this here no so in a similar way like this is a group id america is a group and we have this different projects similarly um you uh, have this Uh, Amazon and and uh, you know um and this thing. So what I'll do here is um, I'll delete this. So to delete it, um, from this, I'll go to the manage system again. Again, go to the home. If you don't know anything, just this is the home point of view. Go to the manage system. System as a admin, you have to go as a admin because you cannot do anything with this. and you have this amazon and i'll go ahead and delete this project are you sure you want to delete of course and now once you deleted you see here that thing gone away and here we go you have only gmo so we'll work on gmo post right we'll work on gmo post in the next class for me to be tomorrow and we have lot of access task 
discussions, milestones, time, files, and calendar, a lot of options we have this. <coughs> um, sorry. So we, we know we'll talk about this in the next class. So here you can choose project right from here. So I'm working on GMI first, just click on this and you will be going right here into this. Okay. So we'll talk about this creating task. So before going to creating task, you know, we'll talk about this a little bit on this. I'll also have some more understanding what is this all about. And we'll go to Kanban. Uh, probably if you don't like this, of course, uh, I like this one better because why? Because drag and drop. This is drag and drop. Oh, we'll talk about this. So, uh, for but we we'll, I'll show you an example and I'll show you an example here too. And we will you work on it, um, creating tasks for requirements as a product owner, creating tasks for. Um, developer i'll show you a little bit as a you know developer to design an application okay how, how do you create it i mean this same way similar i'm sorry similar way but different access level actually the access level is a little bit different okay and i'll show you how to create a task as a tester level tester level has a whole uh, together different access level um and then we'll see how to create a defect without using defect tracking tool right this is not defect tracking tool this is project management tool as i told you uh, but you know still we can do this um uh, you know we can still create um defects you know uh, we can we can you know you have this assign option right uh defects without using defect management tool but first we'll go through this and see try to you know see this but as an administrator point of view this is pretty much okay um probably you might have more access for administrator okay uh, but uh, you know but we'll, we'll we'll stop here we'll stop here and you know we'll go to this home page if you don't know anything just go to this home page for any tool i mean not just free cam anything if you don't know just go to home page and figure it out this is a dashboard basically see here i'm sorry uh, this is the dashboard so dashboard is something which is you want to see which one you want to do which is a project you want to go you can choose project here from here um you know all the stuff okay so th that's uh, that's how you can do okay or well, these guys do some code really good codes they keep giving new new codes that's good um so that's pretty much oh and let me show you as a project go to the management system as a administrator you can have this option uh, as i told you right uh, have a, you can on and off this you want task you don't want to create task. this is a major thing so this will should be on always as a project application this should be always on and as a project members uh, i'm sorry discussions it's up to you um oh this is a team player oh this means uh, who wants access for this who wants who doesn't want this access that means team player um and this is organizer oh, i'm sorry this is team player this is organizer observer and this is guest so you want the guest to have this access you can remove this the guest so that so at this point of time we will not do any changes to this because administrator is completely different thing altogether so i'll put it as a default so everyone have access to everything <coughs> sorry um so for now but otherwise you can change this access so if you click on this that guy will go up uh, lives so that that means uh, let's say um, guest right now guest don't have access to task let's and if I click on this this goes away that means guest doesn't have access we cannot view this task okay so that's about more on the administrative thing but uh, I mean that's uh, we don't want to go much into detail of course 
uh, I can go into detail, that's not an issue, but uh, uh, that's not a problem. Um, thing is, uh, we are running out of time. <laughs> so, uh, and I don't want to take more than one hour. Um, it becomes tedious for both you and me. You don't want you know, lengthy class and I don't want to talk too much lengthy because um, we'll keep it short in um, an also organized way. So this is for administrator, this is for user, this kind of like thing. So that's pretty much, um, you know, we'll stop right here and now in the next class, or oh, that will be, for me it will be tomorrow, um, I'm done for today actually. So um, in the next class we'll be working on creating task um, as a um, as a product owner. So that would be a business analyst. Oh, product, oh I'm sorry, product owner, uh, business analyst in waterfall methodology is called product owner in agile methodology. So both are, both guys are same. Uh, I mean responsibilities are a little bit different. Methodology is you know you have to be a little bit something which you have to know already if you are using this tool. But if you don't know, doesn't matter. Nothing to do with methodology with using this tool. You can still use this tool if you don't know any methodology. Doesn't matter. But access level does matter. If you don't have access, then you cannot do it. So this is the point. So that's pretty much. Um, I'll close this class for today. Um, in the next class, we learn how to create a requirements as a product owner. So that would be a team player, actually. You know, a team player or organizer, pretty much is an organizer more than a team player. So I have, since I didn't change here, as you can see, um, if you see here, um, I have. I can remove the persons who don't want to be, but I have just, you know, put um, everyone as everyone have every access. So, um, so don't want to, you know, change anything. So, um, so that's uh, pretty much. So uh, I hope you like this video. You know, uh, if you if you know if you're not able to uh, get into it, try to log in it and try to use this. Um, you know, uh, you, you don't need my user, my credentials. You can create your own. It's free, completely free. This project management tool, free in sense, limited, for not for everything, but limited. But this gives you a whole idea of administrator point of view. So, um, so that's uh, pretty much. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you like this video. You know?